I know it feels like it's been so, so very long, and it has. And I apologize to anyone. I'm still getting comments to this very day asking where's Don Machi. I just didn't want to offer you guys something that would not satisfy you guys. So now that we finished Toradora, we're going to be able to come out with Don Machi a lot more often. So just be ready, guys. What's up, Depper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with episode 7 of Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon? Which took me a little bit to remember that name, Don Machi. Last episode, we had the secondary stealing of the Hestia knife by Lily Ruka, and then some confrontation by. from. well, not. Some confrontation dealt with by the rest of the Soma family and her. Like, they fucked her over, got that one guy killed and then stole her money and then dipped and then she was about to die which was just horrible and then bell came back to save the day after eyes saved him booked it so he didn't know eyes saved him yet again for the third time and he got to save uh, lily ruka lily who they were able to reconcile their relationship friendship with now especially that she's starting to be able to trust a little bit more because she's had trust issues ever since she was a very very small child which if you guys could give me a little bit of clarification on it's just only reason i need clarification because it's been so long since i've seen the show if i remember correctly she is a she is a prune right but she was pretending like she was a chianthrope or a chianthrope which is the like half uh half dog half people or half animal half people um she was using like magic to pretend like she was but she's actually a prune if i'm i that could totally be the backwards she, she was uh she's a kianthro but she's pretending to be a prune let me know which one i'm correct about on that if i'm even correct at all but i am super excited to find out what happens with this knife also you guys corrected me on saying that bell's power to level up very quickly is tied to his desire to get stronger and to better himself not necessarily his love for eyes he just wants to get stronger so he can be like eyes and be on the somewhat even playing field with her which makes sense so his desire to get stronger is just what's making him evolve at such a rapid rate which is also super rare and unseen uh you guys also let me know in the comments shout out to you guys thank you for the context i really appreciate it trust me trust me but uh it can take years for an unexperienced adventurer to level up from one to two to three you know like uh someone said there are less than 30 level five pluses in the entire city or kingdom or wherever we're at and eyes is one of them she's a level six so she is insane also you guys told me about the ovas which yes i will watch at one point don't forget if you guys want to see full length early access to this show all the other shows i'm watching check out that patreon down below other than that follow me on twitch and on twitter let's hop into this don machi episode 7 eyes valenstein I'll leave this in your hands, Otaro. Okay. Something a shell that can only be broken by adventurers. Hmm. Okay. Because she's known for that. Makes a lot of sense when you go around disguised your entire time. That's pretty smart. Which... I'm not gonna say it's like exactly like now Fumi and Raftalia, but I'm getting those vibes because we're that one person in the world that this this demi human who is very similar to a young Raftalia, I'm just pointing out, can trust, you know, which I love. I love that sentimentality in the world. Like you don't need a lot of friends. You're truly I'm a firm believer that you don't actually preferably want a lot of friends. You just need one wholesome good friend like bell i love that i love that uh sentiment so i'm glad we're going about it you know lily seems to be a product of her environment she's a very good kind-hearted person but you know her environment molded her to be the way she is you know it makes sense to start off on bad terms you've done yeah you've done horrible things but all you have to do is earn your trust back. Just be a, a good girl that I know you're going to be, and you'll earn it back in no time. Hmm. 
At the end of the day, no matter how much these two girls disagree, they both care about Bell and they both want what's best for him. Prove it with your actions. That's the best way, I always say. Words are meaningless sometimes. You judge others based on their deeds. <laughs> oh, babysitting him. That's hilarious. He definitely needs it. Oh, and that's the final straw. He's mine. Protect him. Do all you want. But he's mine. I want to be in this show so bad. Oh my god, this show is comedy. I missed it. Yeah, I'm glad to. I, you know, you have your own little harem of fucking beautiful women of all mixed races. Hey, baby. Oh my god, does she look good? <laughs> Oh my god, we just accidentally ate Aiza's ass. Oh my god, I can't even with this show. I can't with this show. He's just looking straight up, can't even look at her. She's like the Kyoko of uh, Haikyuu, just very quiet. Very awesome lover, you know. Not an awesome lover. She's awesome, and I love her. She's probably an awesome lover, though, too. It really is. Now that I know the context, it truly is. You can teach me anything you want, Eyes. Anything you want. You can teach me to use both my swords. You know what I'm saying? She might be. I don't know. Just roundhouse kicked the fuck out of our boy. Oh, she's gonna use the sheath. I like that. It's like Sabito using uh the wooden sword, you know. I like this music, but I yes, I don't like how beautiful she is. Fair enough to a certain degree. Man, she's looking inside my man's soul. This is gonna be insane XP though. Especially with his drive and ambition and only gets stronger. He's only gonna get better so quick. Oh. I thought that was gonna be clean, but nope. That was a good little that was a good little subversion of my expectations right there. See that guy looks like a Chianthrope. He has ears. A Chianthrope. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry guys. That seems stupid. I know. He definitely does, though. I like how he looks, though. His design is cool. So he's training a Minotaur to be a lot stronger than your average Minotaur. Because he was already a strong Minotaur. He was looking for a strong Minotaur. What are these? What are these... Gob these look like fucking dry bones mixed with goblins. Slice, slice, slice. Ooh, ooh. Good kick. Just like I said, always stay focused. Everything around you. Don't create any blind spots. That Hestia knife coming in clutch. Also, s <laughs> Someone also told me the Hestia knife is not just only by Bell, but anyone in the Hestia family, which of course is only him, but anyone in the Hestia familia can use it. So thank you for that, guys. I was wondering about that. 
Meanwhile, this Minotaur over here is just training with one one-handed guy, not even trying. Oh, this guy has got to be so yoked to snap your horn like that. Oh my god. He's really training him. Wow, we're getting training on both good and bad sides right now. Oh my god. What is this? Just the cycle of repetition that <laughs> just never ends? Roundhouse kick. Wacka. Wacka. I forget what it's called, realist, rephrase, something like that. That's the actual name of his ability. But Hesia is definitely keeping it a secret because now with context, I understand how OP it is, you know? Who do you want to reach? Where's the place you want to go? <laughs> Let's practice afternoon naps. Okay. I legit wish I could fall asleep that fast. What is this, Dimple? What, did he come over from Mob Psycho? Grandpa? Oh. What is this, some sort of existential cosmic plane in which our conscious manifests in these little fairy balls of our grandpa and our goddess lover? He's trained with him so long that the sword chipped away and broke. Wow. So now he feel, feels like he's strong enough. We're, we're going quick. We trained with her. We took a nap with her. And now we're going out to eat with her. We're getting up there. Commenda Sai, Commenda Sai, come on. <sighs> Wallen, what's it? See, it's things like this. It's when she says this that makes me wonder how Belle thinks she's joking. How do you not pick up on hints? She literally just said this and then... Yes, a great goddess. I'm so lost. I could, this is... That's the logo of the Soma family, isn't it? With the wine? And that's the guy who was trying to fuck over Lily. Last episode, yep. That's the magic knife he got from Lily. This Minotaur is OP now. Oh, he's so strong, he broke the magic knife. I'm I'm not happy because we have a super OD new enemy now. I am happy that he died though. I think this show, honestly, is, in my opinion, a perfect blend of really good animation really good characters and hilarious moments like you get your harem vibe i get my hentai satisfactoriness you know through this the show i also get action there's a lot of fantasy elements like it's a really good mix you know in my opinion this is like this is very similar to konosuba just a little less funny like konosuba is a little more funny a little less like actual paying attention to the shit that's going on you like i could you could literally just be not you could be high as fuck there's a dying rolling at Konosuba but this one like I'm a little more invested in what's gonna happen with these characters you know cause like even though my boy Kazuma fucking die every two episodes whoever knows I, he, you know he I never was really I never really was worried especially after that first episode this one like I'm not necessarily worried about Belle cause he's our main character but you never know I could see something happen to another character especially with all these waifus one of the waifus has got to go. I don't know. I'm just joking. But I, I just really am enjoying the show. I want to know more about Freya. 
and she seems like she has Hisoka vibes for me right now where she's like she wants Belle to be as powerful as she can because she's sadistic and she wants to just feel something she doesn't really feel emotions like that anymore so she wants to feel something and then just end him you know which I like Hisoka so maybe I'll like Freya you know I, I, I really don't know right now I really like eyes I really like how many different waifus we have in the show we have the we have the Raftalia type appreciative gratitude waifu we have the best friend why don't you like me waifu like Hestia uh, Lily Ruka was the the Raftalia type waifu we have the smart girl uh who also helps like with a business sort of wise like I, Aina who I also love Aina we have the shy girl who's very uh, in term with who's very involved with what we do occupationally wise like eyes you know like we're so many women and like they're not just different design like they all have like they're all different types of waifus that you'll find in shows and i love them you know like i can't choose which like i'll be honest like yeah lily ruka is a prune you know and like it's kind of like a hobbit in this world you know like don't stop but you know like that's not stopping me in this fantasy fucking world i know you guys are probably calling me weird but you know i don't know i'm just trying to find the best waifu you got hestia's bestia fucking aina is baina <laughs> you got lily I don't know where I'm going with this. You guys know. This show is fantastic. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. I'm going to go take a shower, then watch another episode. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, Dapper Squad.